We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. I'm today Faithful Acolytes. We're gonna do this thing. But of course, knowing me, we're not going to be doing it necessarily the proper way. In fact, I've probably just blown the League of Fire portion of it because they want you to be on camera the entire time and part of me is on camera. But not all of me. But I was really... I, I don't really care about the challenge part. I've done a, a number of other challenges. Per challenge products. And I kind of do them the same way I do everything else. Which is to examine them. And this one I thought was really interesting. Because it was orange wafer. And I thought, well... I love chocolate wafers. Strawberry wafers, vanilla wafers, the wafers with that little bit of frosting in between them, the crispity sort of thing. I think those are really awesome. And I thought, okay, so maybe this is going to be, it's round, something, and okay, maybe it's going to be like a stroop waffle, something like that. But no, um, I guess I get a, a card for UK Chili Queen. Uh, Shahina. Shahina is from London, England, and is a LOF hero. So, uh, hello, Shahina. <laughs> this is kind of cool. I was, oh wow, that's far out. I don't know if I'm doing any other challenges from them, but that's pretty neat. So we have, a, okay, so look at this box. And I, and when I saw the box, I'm like, I have no idea what to expect. Here is the product in relation to the box. And it's just this, this scrunchy paper stuff, so we don't need that anymore. There's no instructions, nothing like that there. The idea here is you consume this, and once it's out of your mouth, then you have a two minute afterburn. And supposedly it's not as hot as the Packy One Chip Challenge. Now I have found, I've done a few of those, you can check those out. By the time this gets up, I may be doing a uh, a uh, challenge playlist, possibly. If I have enough. I, I might, I might not. I'm not sure yet. But you can check out those for sure, either which way, in the uh, Spicy Chips playlist. This one will also reside in the Spicy Sweets playlist as well. Uh, whether or not there's a challenge is one. I'm, I'm kind of kicking around. I just don't know if I have enough content for it yet. So it might be coming down the line uh, if I don't. But uh, stay tuned. We'll find out together. Let me smell this. Oh, it smells very orangey. Very orange. I want to see what's in it. Okay. So, oh, it's not a wafer at all. It is a... It looks like just basically a chocolate coated rice crispy circle and this is honestly probably about as big around as an Oreo in terms of diameter. Uh, it's probably a little bit thicker than one of the double stuffs. Hmm. This should be kind of interesting. Well, I do have, so, so I do have a couple things here. Uh, the first thing is My Spider-Man holder, because we're going to do the thing I usually do, which is to set up a timer anytime there's a timer involved in these things. How about this? Okay. So we got our timer. Nice big timer that we all can see. So we'll kick that off when it's time. Um, where can we put, can we put Shahina here somewhere? Shahina 
Shahina to give us inspiration, perhaps. I don't know who Shahina is. Uh, but we'll put her there, right next to the uh, challenge stuff. So there's no time limit on this. This video could take days, right? It could take, it could take hours. Uh, but I don't know that it's... I was just interested in more from a flavor perspective. I don't really care about the challenge stuff. I'm not on League of Fire. I don't imagine I probably ever will be. Obviously, this video is blown because there's edits in it. But that's fine. I, that, like I said, this was just... Most challenges are not interesting to me from a flavor, flavor perspective because they're like the Pocky One Chip challenges in that they are completely repulsive flavor-wise. This one, at least, I thought was going to be kind of interesting. So let's get into it. Very nice orange flavor. Uh, heat is very, very moderate. Especially for a challenge product, to me. Some of their chili had reserve. Brownies I've had have actually been hotter than this. You can look through those as well. I think I've done every single one of the old Agnes chili head reserves. They should be in the spicy sweets playlist. All right, well. Okay, let me start this. All right, so I did, after I ordered this, after I got it, I did um, watch a video, because I was really, by then, just, I couldn't figure out what it actually was. Like I said, I was hoping for a wafer. You know, like those, um, kind of like the ones that are in Kit Kats. Just throw away the chocolate. Just that wafer part. That's what I thought they were, and that's actually what I wish they were. Could you imagine? If they did those in orange and they did that kind of wafer, oh, it, it would be easily the best challenge product anyone has ever, ever concocted. But I went over to Never Better Club. Uh, I think they're Alexandria and Michael, possibly. And uh, Alexandria made a comment in that video that I really kind of agree with here, that these are a, a thing that you could just sit and eat and eat. Uh, they are quite delicious. I I will give it a legit one, um, but I wouldn't give it more than that. The, this, I mean, the, the buildup is pretty pronounced. 20 different peppers. Uh, we've got, ex look, look at this. Extremely hot challenge. Um, we'll put Shahina back here. We, we've got all that business going on, but it, I, I don't, Honestly, no, of any chili is going to find this challenging. Here's the challenging part. What you just saw right there on camera, what you just saw me cut apart, what you just saw me eat was 10 bucks. Actually, I think it might have been less on Black Friday, but I, th I, I or maybe not, I can't remember. But, but that was, I think that was 10 bucks. So for something that you could just sit and eat and eat and eat and eat like that, that's one of the other problems I have with challenges generally is that they tend to be very expensive. The one chip challenge this year was 10 bucks also. Now, if I'm going to plonk down 10 bucks for something, you know what? I would take this every day of the week and twice on Sunday over, over a one chip challenge. Okay, we're, we're officially done with this. We're done with the challenge. Yay, yay, yes. Um, thank you, Spidey. But I, I really see these more as honestly like a $5 thing to me. Uh, five bucks, I actually wouldn't be, you know, kind of, uh, where it's 10 bucks, I am kind of like, it's just like, man, it was good. It tasted really, like it was, it was this is better tasting. This is probably one of the best tasting challenge products I've ever had. If not the best outright, fantastic flavor. 
These guys know their way around some dessert type stuff. No question about that up at Old Agnes. Uh, as far as the challenge product, yeah, definitely this is well below any of the packy years, uh, including the blue one 2022, which I thought was actually probably the weakest of all the years I did. Well below any of that stuff. Um, this is actually below some of their chili head reserve brownies, in fact. So, I can't help but feel a little disappointed about that, actually. But, flavor-wise, it was fantastic. I love the flavor. I, I would have really liked the stuff. I don't know if they have a Rice Krispie where the orange is incorporated throughout that. But if they did, I would be super interested in that as a chili head reserve. Which I think might actually be a little bit hotter than this wound up being. This, I think, I should have actually torn it apart to see uh, if it, if the heat was more just in the white chocolate or if it was throughout. I don't quote me on this. I don't know for sure, but my suspicion is that it was just in the white chocolate, and there just wasn't enough white chocolate there um, to really, I, I think, pose too much of a challenge to. To, to any chili head like it, it's it's been almost completely gone well it started to taper off actually well before i got to the two minute mark and it's it's been just dropping off ever since so um okay well it's final thoughts i guess um i got a hero card of shahina that part was cool here let's, let's have spidey let's have one one hero Oh, can I? Will it work like that? Maybe it will. Huh? One, one, one hero. Can can I? I'm struggling with this. Okay, we'll put the two heroes together over there. Um, as a dessert, it was really good, really, really delicious. Like I said, this is a. If you're interested in doing challenges, you are going to be hard-pressed to find one that tastes better than this. Almost all the other challenge products out there uh, taste like a bucket of ass. They're just not good. This one, however, is fantastic. Although, I shouldn't say that because Old Agnes does have some other challenge products that I haven't had. So, the bucket of ass comment refers to the challenge products that I personally have had. It's not reflective of every... Single challenge product out there, but I imagine that most of them probably are going to follow suit. Just the, the way they're constructed by dumping loads and loads of powder on and going, here you go. Here's your powdery whatever object it is. Uh, this one, I think they actually tried to make something extremely flavorful and just very, very delicious. And I think they succeeded on that front. As far as heat, I gave it a legit one. I would not give it higher than that. Uh, if you're looking to dip your toe into challenges as a chili head, this is an extremely good starting space because um, it, it's something that you can eat a lot of, and you potentially could could get a decent build, I guess, out of this. I don't, I don't know, but you know the the way that they award points is like every five you get an additional point or whatever. Five of these is fifty bucks. Ten of these is hundred bucks, right? Like these are ten bucks a throw. It, it is really, like, you got to be have a level of dedication to trying to accumulate points for League of Fire that I simply don't have uh, to do that. In fact, I probably won't actually even have this again because, like, t 10 bucks is a, it, it's hard to, to do a lot of that. Maybe if the video does really, really, really well and I can monetize the channel, channel possibly. But... If that day ever comes, <laughs> maybe then we can talk. But uh, for now, I am happy, though, that it was a delicious product. Uh, very easy to take and uh, a success on a lot of fronts. Uh, I, When I see something that's called a challenge, I usually expect something to be a lot more aggressive. And uh, this really wasn't. So in, in, in one respect, I'm kind of glad. But in another, um, like I said, it's 10 bucks, you know, so... I guess uh, you have to kind of see where you weigh in on that as far as that goes. But, uh, yeah, that was, uh, I mean, it was fun. 
So there it is, and you get this, you get this, uh, you get a card. I don't know if you get Shahina in every single one of these, but I guess you get a League of Fire card in every single one of them, which, which I think is kind of cool. That's a nice, that's a neat little bonus. I like that. And uh, I don't know if they do it with all the League of Fire products. Maybe they do. I'm not sure, but uh, we'll just leave it at that. So there it is, the old Agnes. <laughs> the mouthful here. Orange, you glad it's almost not hot challenge wafer. Oh, and that is the other thing. It's a Rice crispy round. It is certainly not a wafer. Uh, calling it a wafer, I, I think, is objectively incorrect. Uh, and I, that I do have kind of an issue with because the wafers I was describing, oh, man, if it could have been those, could you imagine? I'm, I'm imagining. I actually want that product now. So, uh, Old Agnes, I guess, if you're listening, uh, rename this one and make actual wafers because that would be magnificent. So, really, really, you know, chef's kiss there. So, uh, but anyway, we're going to leave it there. Uh, it was a fun challenge. I'm going to probably do a few more throughout the year as the ones that I think are going to be interesting for a taste perspective, and I hope to see you for some of those. But for now, as always, go forth in peace to serve the flame.